in Taiwan, people were really, really skeptical about information from China. Okay. At the very beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak. Okay. And I think it's because Taiwanese people were trained. How are you trained? Like, okay. what, what do you guys do? Do you remember Asian swine fever? Uh, only sort of... Vaguely, yeah. right? Cause was this 1974, that one? Like the, no, the no, Hong I'm, Kong I'm, one, talk or is this? I'm talking about the f- very recent one. The oh. 2018 Asian swine fever. Don't know at all. So, okay, so some pigs got sick in okay. Africa. And okay. then um, this swine fever quickly spread to Europe. <clears throat> and ah, then, okay, yeah. yes. So um, European pigs were sick too. Yes. And then it almost stopped at Middle East because no one was eating or farming pigs there. Yeah. Uh-huh. But somehow the virus traveled to Russia. Okay. And it was that time when China and the United States got engaged in the trade wars. Okay. And then in 2018, China included pork and chicken on a list of retaliatory tariffs on U.S. dollar $60 billion worth of American product. Mm. So no more American meat in China. And then uh, they... Hmm, they stopped importing meat from Canada after Meng Wanzhou was arrested, the key person in Huawei. Oh. Yeah. So uh, that key person, Meng Wanzhou, was arrested in Canada. And then in revenge, I that, yeah. yeah, in revenge, China stopped importing pork from Canada. So in 2018, huh. China stopped importing pork from Canada and the United States, two of the largest port exporters. And what happens is that Russia filled the gap. Russia? Filled the supply gap. They started selling pork. Yes, to China. And why is pork so important? Because... That was my next question. Yeah. (laughs) Why do you care about pork so much? (laughs) Do you like McDonald's? (laughs) No, I don't. (laughs) That's all right. In Chinese diet, pork accounts for 60% of meat consumption. Uh, So pork price can lead to food inflation. Mm. and the inflatory expectation of consumers. Mm. So China needed to fill the gap. And then China started importing pork from Russia. Oh. And you know what? They come with the virus. Huh. And then because uh, pork or pigs are um, transported across China yeah. using trucks and vans. So the virus spread to entire China in just three months and then Taiwan got really really nervous because the summer of 2020 is very important to the entire Taiwan economy so 20 years ago 1997 there was a outbreak of food mouth disease so there was an outbreak of pig flu in Taiwan Mm. and then uh, Taiwan could not export pork for 20 years wow and pork, uh, export value of pork yeah. was 70 billion Taiwan dollars, 2 billion US dollars Okay. every year. Okay. So that's like 2 billion US dollars gone okay. every year for 20 years. And then finally, 20 years later, we are about to be licensed to this free export of okay. pork. So we're expecting 2 billion US dollars every year from now on. Oh, the other countries just said, we don't want your meat. That, that's what happened. Something like that, huh? Uh, I think there's an international organization that, okay. that revoked Taiwan's wow. permission or license huh. to export por- pork. Okay. Yeah. So we've been preparing for the summer of 2020 for so long. And now that there's Asian, the African swine fever in China. So at that time, Taiwan tightened its border control yep. on pork product. I'm not sure if you remember that, but in um, 2019, when you arrive at the international airport, yeah. you have to you have to claim if you have any pork products or not. They give you that card, Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. then you have to throw away any sausage or uh-huh. whatever pork uh-huh. product you bring with you. Otherwise, you will be fined up to a million Taiwan dollars. I had no idea that's what was going on. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were just traveling with your wife, and then she asked you to hold a card. Uh, every time I come back from any country, except, I guess, yeah, there was only a few countries. Like, U.S., they would give you the pass. You go right through. Uh-huh. But I came back from Europe, 
a few times and uh-huh. they wouldn't give me a pass. You have to wait in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. So they are asking the beagles to sniff your uh-huh. luggage and, uh-huh. and see if you have any uh-huh. pork product. Uh-huh. And this is so important to Taiwan's economy. Mm. Uh-huh. So um, the government and the private sectors and the citizens are all very wary of it. Um, there was a point when everyone in Taiwan received a self a, 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 a text message saying that no more pork product from other countries. Hmm. And then, um, I'm not sure, uh, okay. And then at one point, people started reporting that when they uh, receive parcels from China, like Taobao, Mm -hmm. the Chinese eBay, Mm -hmm. they come with some giveaways. Okay. A free sausage. So if you... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so if you buy a okay. toy for your kid okay. on Taobao, you can huh. receive a free sausage. And wow. Yeah, so Taiwanese people were trained to be really, really cautious and very wary of this attack. We, mm. we don't call it attack. So after that, yeah. um, COVID-19 broke out in yeah. Wuhan. Yeah. So I think that was a rehearsal. Interesting.